Mama Suzanne. This shows us how wonderful and how great our president is. And to you, we are very happy. We are honored. We are blessed to have you as a president. Yeah. So thank you very much for putting the village together. Where there was this order, she brought order. Thank you very much, President. Very, um, and I say this with love. Oftentimes, we don't give the opportunity for our women to lead. And I am so proud to be proud to be part of a tribe that does that. Because we gave a position of leadership to our wonderful, I call her a mother of this village. And she has been doing such a phenomenal job. And you can see, you can see that we all dance up here with her because we appreciate her service. So thank you. Going on to the floor, our unbelievably wonderful, just so genuine leader. Please, and you need no further introduction. Please, please put your hands together. This is a wonderful lady right here, a powerful woman. And she also stands by her men. That's very important. Because you're setting a good example for the rest of us. These two girls tonight are too much for me. But I thank God for you guys who are doing a fabulous job. To all the elders in the house, my fellow Ongokun brothers and sisters, dear invitees, ladies and gentlemen, it is a singular honor for me to stand here today at this very important soul-searching period of the year to address you my best wishes for the new year 2016. The importance of this season is justified by the fact that it marks a moment of great reflections on the achievements of the most recent past and projections into the nearest future. We shall circumscribe our appraisals of the past to the last 12 months and our projections for the future to the next 12 months. For those of us here who are members of the family meeting, DC metro area, when we look back to the beginning of the year 2015, in comparison to where we are today, it, suffi it suffice to say that our journey was an improbable one from the get-go. The pundit had declared our death even before we were given the chance to breathe our first breath. And to be honest, in hindsight, the pundit were not too wrong. Today, I want us to capitalize on our successes of 2015 as we endeavor to shape the way for a larger and more inclusive tent that shall accommodate all the sons and daughters of Nji in their diversity of opinions. I regret that despite all our best efforts, we were not able to completely overcome the gem of this unity that is plaguing the Greater Nghi family unit here in the DC metro area. The unity of all the sons and daughters remains a goal that we will continue to pursue as we enter the year 2016. My fellow Yugekun brothers and sisters, I pledge to commit myself to any enterprise that can bring about the unity of Muhi. As much as we love unity and need it so badly, I want the news 
to go forth from here that we would never, I mean never, need that unity so badly that we will choose to sacrifice any human or woman over the selfish interest of a few. This is not my personal opinion. It is the opinion of all those who are members of the Ngi family meeting DC metro area. And by the way, that is why we are the Ngi family meeting DC metro area. We function together because we believe that no one is more important than the other. Together, we were able to broaden the membership of our organization as we reach out to the family members who had this who has been disenchanted by the idea of a meeting based on the experiences of the past as your president i am very proud and grateful for your commitment in accomplishing whatever tasks that were assigned to you each and every one of you is an equal shareholder in the success story that we celebrate today. I thank the Constitutional Revision Committee for preparing and submitting a revised draft of the Constitution that was later adopted by the General Assembly. I thank all the women of the Family Meeting DC metro area for making sure that we were well fed with delicious food during our monthly meetings. <laughs> to our able men as well, I also say thank you for making sure that our throats were wet all the time as there was always enough to drink during our gatherings. Right now, we have set our expectations higher than in 2015. We will be able to organize a fundraising gala that will enable us to assist with some of the infrastructural needs of our people back home in the village. Next year is full of hopes. I can anticipate that our challenges for next year would even be tougher than the one we had this year. I say this not to instill fear in you, but to awaken the boldness in you. For I know that when you get bold, there is no challenge that you cannot overcome. all remember that at the beginning of this 2015, our power was unknown to our detractors. But today, they are all aware of what we can do because they now have evidence of our capability to achieve great things. <laughs> Let us not be deceived that they will want to give up without a fight. In 2016, they will try even harder to dislocate us. But we have to show to them that it is not by mistake that we became what we are. We earn it by applying the ideas of unity that we so strongly believe in. The family meeting, we are one, we are together. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a happy and prosperous New Year 2016. God bless you all.